Today I want to show you what is so special about this setup, which is basically Skinner's setup. So with Skinner's setup, the output is driven by the bottom weights. So the thinking on this is, well, maybe that's all you need. And maybe you just need one. So in the previous videos I showed you, Take your weight, put it on here, okay? You don't have the bottom set up, so your weight spins around. You run into problems that if you move this wrong, then your weight comes. So, what's so good about this is that it uses gravity and centrifugal force. So this is set up to move in a circle, okay, so if this is stationary, this moves in a circle, real simple, so as long as you don't move it too fast, it works fine. Now, normally, like if we had our weight up here, if we follow the weight with our center, okay, this as it comes around, then it would stop. But with this one, if it's going around, say like this, and then we move our center this way, and then back, it'll actually speed up. So basically, something like a crank on another shaft. I don't have it set up right now. Now, like, so your input would be something like this, right? You turn this, and then this moves this back and forth. The thing is with that is that it's hard to mess it up. So, you want it so that it doesn't put too much force on it, it sort of just lifts. So, we got to start it, okay? So, basically, it only moves this frame back and forth when it's real easy, okay? So, that is how you determine the timing. Okay? You cannot time it mechanically. It does not work. So it has to basically go by feel. So you have your crank thing going back and forth, but you have it so it slips rather than putting a big load on your input. It just slips. turning, sorry, as long as you don't go too crazy, however you move this, it'll basically speed it up. So this setup, it looks kind of goofy, but it works really well because it's hard to mess it up. 